I want to know, what, g given the fact that we all have cameras nowadays and we could all point it in one direction if the Queen's on the balcony, what makes a good, what makes a good photograph of the Queen and what makes it different from the sort of one that I would take, which would, you know... I just... I'm getting out the Daily Telegraph. Oh, wow. Look I that cannot one. believe how beautiful this image is. That's and, of course, what they've done is they've looked at the image and they've played it big. Really, really big. Isn't that an unbelievable image? I love the finger. That's lovely. Yeah. And the smile. The finger going up. It's sort of... If you're listening on the radio, it's in, on page three of the Telegraph. It is the most stunning picture. Full and she, page. It's full, full page. And it's just, and the high definition of it, you can you can see every every wrinkle super one's lens, to see. Super lens. But, yeah. so, so, but so, so what makes it, a stunningly good we, picture of the Queen? You want to get you you want to get emotion. So to get the Queen smiling is beautiful, isn't it? Mm. And everyone wants that. And to actually have the Queen some, looking at the lens is fabulous. I mean, a lot of the time I'm seeing all her emotions or how she's feeling through this long lens. So it's amazing what you can see. But to get her, I mean, she's very controlled which is lovely, and that's why we love her as well. But that when she's having her fun moments and her jokes and you get that glint in the mm. eye, it's the it's, thing, it's, isn't it's it, really lovely. professional photographers, because as Anne says, we all, we all snap away, especially with our, our phones at the minute, we all snap away, we all get some nice pictures, but it's when you see an image that actually has depth to it. It conveys a feeling. That's something that's very it. special. That's it. It's the emotion. It brings the emotion. I've got another one. The I, don't, I don't know if our lovely director can pick this one up as well. But this, to me, shows... Uh, this, this is a, a Daily Mail supplement today, which is showing off some of the best-ever pictures. I'll just keep holding it while we go close. But basically, it's the Queen in between two horses. And that's when her she comes to life. That's she's right. laughing her <laughs> yeah. head off there at whatever is going on. Uh, but she's in between two uh, guardsmen on horses. And... It's often her with horses and yes. Yeah. Mm. Can I can I say something slightly differently? That I thought tomorrow was the beginning of a new era era uh, with the monarchy in the fact that they were going to be much more relaxed. They were going to be much more accessible, and they want to have ordinary people around them. And I think Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall coming out. Um, which nobody knew, and it was decided the last minute, and started talking to people who were waiting for the Queen. They were like ordinary people shaking hands and laughing with them. And I thought, you know, that was completely unexpected. Mm -hmm. And then them appearing in a couple, uh, uh, EastEnders, where uh. they did about 15 <laughs> minutes of acting that they were themselves. <laughs> and the cast did acting as if they it was were so themselves. Funny. It was and it was erratus. And I think that there is this new, um, more intimacy, no mm. less aloofdom. Um, not that I'm criticising the Queen in any way, but I think that it's moving as we move, that you feel you want to communicate with people. Um, and, I, and I thought that um, making people standing there not knowing, and there were some couple of middle-aged people, and when they just walked past them, they jumped up and down. They come, I can't believe it. You know, they were jumping <laughs> up and down like children and because they were so excited that they actually came to shake their hands and have a little chat. And I think that that is marking a new era. There is a there is a magic about the roles, isn't there, Helen? There's a complete magic about it, and, and and we couldn't lose it. We couldn't lose that special. I mean, I work with um, different broadcasters, and uh, one particular USA Global TV, and they absolutely adore our history, and they will stand outside the palace and and want to meet all our royals. It's it's special. They want to have what we've got.